My name's Denny Eilert and I've just finished recording Building the Blues Series 1. I've been a professional musician now for over 25 years and in that time I've played with all types of musicians from all over the world. The aim of this series of lessons is to give budding blues guitar players a real platform so that they can form their own ideas rather than just learning, say, a, a Stevie Ray Vaughan lick or a Jimi Hendrix lick or an Albert King lick. Um, I'm trying to give you the tools where you can make up your own solos. We start off in lesson one with a very, very simple five note blues scale. As the lessons progress, we add notes and we add tonality to that simple blues scale until we end up with a big scale including chromatic tones, major pentatonic, minor pentatonic, mixolydian and blues scale ideas. The backing track that I've made is a kind of like a pastiche of Red House, the Jimi Hendrix blues. Um, the actual playing style, um, I've kept it at the beginning, very kind of B.B. King, quite simple and melodic. Uh, by the time we move through, we start to get some chromatic things going. So uh, there's a little bit more of Robin Ford, Larry Carlton style blues playing in there. In this series, I'm really trying to show people how I approach soloing. So I try to keep away from playing scale shapes and uh, different position scales. I tend to try to create one big scale and then I draw from that. Um, so I spend a lot of time talking in this series about chord tones. I talk about chromatic linking of chord tones, which is also very important to me. I think my approach will help uh, to drive players more towards a melodic way of playing rather than running scales because uh, we're not really playing scale shapes, we're playing really melodic lines and focusing on chord tones, which is uh, the thing that I think we need in order to try to play more melodically. This series is also about trying to draw music out of people, not trying to install it in. I'm giving you the tools for you to be able to create your own ideas and solos which if you then go away and listen to different players, you should be able to start to hear what they're doing. Hopefully by the end of the course, um, players will have much more of an idea about how to go on and develop their own style of playing, rather than spending hours and hours and hours learning somebody else's licks. I'd like to think that part of my style is that it's adaptable. So you can take a lot of these ideas that I'm showing you and put them into different styles of blues. So uh, some of the licks are going to work on a slow blues, a fast blues, a shuffle blues, or even some jazz flavored blues. I'm going to encourage anybody using this series to go slowly. Take the backing track, take each lesson one at a time, make sure that each lesson is really absorbed before moving on to the next one. We don't want to get to lesson three or four and then be wondering you know, what's missing from lesson two. So go slowly, have fun, and above all, use your ears to decide what notes to play.